Olá, meus amigos. Oh, my dear friends, Deus abençoe a vocês may God todos. bless you all. E abençoe, abrindo, and he may bless you by giving you the understanding and palavra, opening your mind about his word, about his thoughts, para que so that cada um de vocês each one of you may think, rationalize, pesar, and to weigh it, enfim, to weigh down and evaluate everything that he has spoken, and that you may make a decision. You may make or take the decision that is right on what you're going to do with your life, because the life is yours. You belong to your own self. But you belong to yourself does not mean that you are the Lord or the Master of your life. You belong to yourself and that you are the owner of your destiny. You are owner of your future. You are the one who decides your future, not your destination. Not the stars, the stars or the card reading that they invented out there that leads our destiny, that shows our destiny. No, our destiny is made by our own mind. We are the ones who decide our destiny for our own, on our own. It's not our father, our mother, it's not our loved ones, no. It is not the university that decides, no. Each one is led by your own thought, because your thought makes you to make choice, either a positive action or a negative action. And it depends on your head. If you make a negative decision, if you take a negative decision, you're going to have the fruits of this negative decision. Now, if you take a positive action, you are going to have positive results. It is that story. You can't you know, plant rice and you can't expect beans. And if you plant beans, you can't expect rice. So, everything that we so, we are going to reap. If we sow what is good, we're going to reap what is good. And if we sow what is bad, we're going to reap bad. Whether you believe in God or you are religious, it doesn't matter. Whether you have faith in God or not, what matters is that what you are going to sow is what you are going to reap. And that is the main thought. In Deus the Holy Scriptures, God gives us His thoughts so that we can submit to His thoughts. Now, if we don't want to submit to God's thoughts, so then we are going to reap the fruits of our own thoughts. So, that's, the re that's why it's important for you to have your understanding clear, opened up, so that you can take the right direction in your life. The Apostle Paul says that the God of this world, the God of this world, blinded the understanding of the unbelievers, of those who live according to to their então, desires. O Deus desse mundo tem so the God of this world has been blinding people's thoughts. E isso and that é claro, notório, is noticeable. We have isso. seen this. Mas Everyone que can take a notice of that. É falar com vocês para But que what Deus I want to tell you about é God opening your understanding is in regards to His prophecies. prophecies. The prophecies. Você veja, por exemplo, and you know that, quando você for example, Bíblia, when you read in the Bible, there in Matthew, Matthew 4, that says, And the Holy Spirit led Jesus to the desert by the Spirit to be tempted by the devil. So the Holy Spirit, God, led his own son to be tempted in the wilderness. To be tempted in the wilderness. And he went. But he went. He, he got approved. He fasted, he prayed, 
ele he lutou fought para que pudesse ser so that he could serve pai. his father o espírito santo que so o levou the holy spirit who led him o into the wilderness também the holy spirit he he has been taking many of his children to the wilderness the problems, saúde, problemas health problems, problemas family problems, financial problems, problemas, enfim, de the sorte, problems de that of all kinds. Deus God allows these problems to come. Deus nos leva God, he leads us desertos. to the Eu wilderness. I have been many times in the wilderness, Deus foi but God had mercy on me ele and he livrou delivered me. He did not allow me to die in the wilderness. And I want you to know this, that even though when the Holy Spirit does not take us to the desert to be tempted or tested, to test our faith, to see our loyalty, then this happens as well. We are also the ones that leads our own self to the desert, não not to be tempted ou or to be tested, para but os to reap the fruits da of da disobedience, of rebellion, de due to his então, word. Exemplo, so, for example, o o pastor, the pastor, ou um membro, ou a member, pessoa, or any é de person Deus, that is of God, é de Deus, that is of God, was of God, had their faith, they had their family in faith, had peace celular, in their lutava, home, they fought outros, for others, um dia, but now se deixou levar they allow themselves to be driven by E então, that passion, and then fell into e então, temptation. Você sabe, and you know, there is nothing in this world that is o hidden, that doesn't come to tona. light. So, e the sin came que tinha, to light, and the great evaporou. family he had eva evaporated, faded away. E ele ficou sem chão. And now, ele he ficou has sem no chão. more family. Aí, and and now, caiu na fé, he fell in faith então a and then began sua vida, to lead é, his life in, in a terrible way hoje está caído, and now prostrado. is fallen, não sabe o que fazer da does not know what to do with their life. Meu Deus, talvez, Maybe se ele tiver, if that person had the desire to say, God, is there any chance for me? Because I, I know your word, but I fell, I made a mistake consciously, but here I am, fallen. I am here now, lost. I do not know what to do with my life. Give me a direction. If the person is humble enough to recognize they are seen, and to ask for God's mercy, God will come upon them. God will stretch his hand. But the problem, my dear friend, the problem is that there are times that their people does not, does not give in. They don't give in. They are proud. They, you know, remain stuck. They are arrogant. They think they know it all. They know it all, especially the scriptures, and they don't, they don't, they can't. They can't repent. They can't feel their sin. And that right there is very, very bad. Because when a person comes to this state, then it's because they are truly destined to death. And there is no other alternative. But if there is a deep sadness, a sadness within a person, the person says to themselves, you know, I am in this situation, God have mercy on me. The person is humble to recognize. So then, there is salvation for this person. And I say, I do this 
I do this message every day to rescue those who are like this, those who are lost, those who are away, feeling down, and does not and have within them, they have inside of them of humbleness in order to recognize, and there is salvation. The Apostle Paul, he also did say, that que há dois tipos de there are two kinds of sadness. Uma there is the sadness pelo mundo. which is provoked by the world, outra the deep sadness of the world, Deus. and the other one comes from God. The sadness of the world é leads to death. So, a ficar, the person is, é, se you know, feeling mundo, se and get involved pecado, with the world, and involved with sin, pecado, emerge into sin, pecado, into the mud pit of this fazendo, world, knowing, knowing that they are fazendo, doing wrong consciously, assim, and they want to remain assim, like that, they prefer it that way. They have forma, their pleasures então, in life like that. So then these this kind of sadness will lead them to eternal death. But there is the sadness by God, which is the repentance. When the person falls into sin, but they say, Lord, if, is there a chance? They are now hurt and nothing change the situation that they are going through. They have money, they have no position in this world, and there is nothing in this world that will cheer their heart, if not that sadness that comes from God to make them recognize and to convert and for them to repent and for Him to come upon Him and to restore their soul and heal their wounds and make of them a new creature. God is compassionate. God is mercy. God is love. Not the love that we see in the world. No. No, not this one. The God's love is completely different, distinct from what we feel in the heart. Because our heart is, is deceitful. So, the love that God, God's love, is that love that makes us to be conscious of what is right and what is wrong, and for us to do what is right. It is true that there are times that we feel to do what is wrong just to make vengeance, revenge that betrayal, to, you know, do that cruelty, to, you know, to re remove that pain of that backstabbing. But when we have the conscience of the Holy One, of the Divine One, so then we forgive. We forgive because Jesus said for us to forgive. So we will forgive. But that person that has, that has done us wrong, that stabbed us in the back, they shall reap the fruits of their cruelty, their betrayal. And if they repent, so then they have everything to have their life restored. But if they do not repent, they have everything to remain as it is and get worse and die and give into hell where they will never live. So, my dear friends, thinking about this is what we wanted to call you, you who are watching this, and that you have, you were a person of faith, you were a person full of faith, you have felt the first love, you, you had the first love, you had the pleasure of the first love, which is the Lord Jesus. But the world, the light of the world, the attractions of the world, deceived you and you got lost along the way. But God's love remains the same for you. He will only, it will only have effect in your life if you turn back to Him. But if you do not turn back to Him, what is the point of His love? You are going to continue reaping the fruits of what? 
You have been sowing. Minha amiga, meu amigo. So, Pense, dear friends, Pense think grande. about it. Pense think como Deus. <laughs> like God. Pense yes, de forma think in a way, gloriosa. in a glorious mundo, way. César, everything in this world calma. ceases. Everything Se ends Dizem sooner or later. Que a única coisa They certa say that the only mundo thing that is right é in this morte. world is death. Bem, é a morte well, it is death for those who deserto. die in the desert. Mas para But que que for those who Jesus, die in the Lord Jesus, nova. they então, begin a new life. A gente não se so, com isso we are not worried about this because we know vamos. where we are going. And we have the certainty of where we are heading. É isso que nós, and que that nos você, is exemplo, what worries us. Tá perdida, perdida, Perhaps you are lost a, a in among so, so many sadness. Vida. You do not know what else to do with ontem, your life. You know, yesterday, ontem, something interesting. Uh, veio um, um There was a, a gentleman who came, muito dinheiro, who had a lot of money, duas empresas, who had duas two industrias. businesses, was a, they esse, had, he had two warehouses. Tudo, and with this pandemic, he lost tudo, everything. Ele, e ele perde tudo, and ele when, perde tudo, when we amigos, lose everything, parede, we lose parede, friends, we lose ninguém, relatives, we lose everybody. No one wants to know realidade. about us. Então, so he, perdeu tudo. he então, lost ele everything. Isso foi ontem. And this was yesterday. Aconteceu ontem. It happened yesterday. And he was walking and crying to throw himself from off the bridge to end his life. And then suddenly he stopped in front of a store for an apparent reason. And it was the Holy Spirit. And then came to him a woman who is an assistant of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God and saw him crying and called him and said, why are you crying, sir? And then he began telling his story and she, in that moment, brought him yesterday to the Universal Church. And then, when he came, he received prayers and also spiritual guidance, a biblical guidance, and he left here a new person. He left here smiling. He left here happy. So, the sadness that he was feeling in that moment, God allowed so that he could then come before the altar and then be cheerful and receive joy from the Holy Spirit. So, friends, if this is your case right now, the Lord Jesus, He is the same. He said, come to me all those who are weary and heavy burdened and I will give you rest. Jesus wants to give you rest. It doesn't matter what you have done or, you, or what you have not done. What matters is consider this. Humble yourself before Him and He will bring you up. But it's needed for you to take the action because His love is not will act for you. No. God's love will come to meet you. But you need to say yes, you need to accept, you need to practice it, you need to do your part. That is what we have to do. Do your part, dear friend, and you, the desert is not, all, is not forever. The wilderness will can end today in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want this to happen today for the honor and the glory and honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And thanks be to God. God bless you.